Development is probably the platform for the solutions for sustainability. The great thing about the movement of sustainability or the evolution in the last 10 years is that we've gone to the areas of innovation and realising opportunity. The Fraser's Passive House project was the first effort to test the Passive House product in the volume market. It allows us to essentially keep the building really comfortable and healthy with very, very little energy input. So we had one house that would be delivered to Passive House, one that would be delivered to their business as usual standard. We're getting a sort of real understanding of how the Passive House performs versus what we're building at the moment what a sustainable home looks like, how it should influence your health and wellbeing, how it should cost dramatically less to run, how it should contribute to a net zero outcome. The developer has a unique opportunity to, I guess, educate the market and we don't mean that in a condescending way, it's just literally showing our customer base what's possible. If customers or the, the general public don't know about what they could be asking for, then they'll never ask for it. And it will always remain in that part of the, uh, the industry that is the innovation bucket rather than the, the mainstream. Sustainability certainly has to be front and centre. We know that the consumer's mindset is shifting. We know that potentially as our population matures, that shift and the popularity of eco-friendly features is only going to grow. Developers have the ability to test change, to, to prototype innovation uh, and to really influence the, the delivery at scale. A lot of these initiatives that we're trialling, they're very new to the market. So it's being able to take the industry on the journey with us. The Point Cook project, you know, we ran industry tours and we try and share the knowledge that we've gained through that one project. Essentially, we're all trying to achieve the same thing. The upscaling part is challenging, but if you don't have the industry on board, you won't be able to upscale. There's been so many different angles that people have been taking recently, and they're all sort of converging nicely at the moment. We know how far we have to go, but I think we're starting to establish how we're going to get there. <laughs>